So what we have here is the T10. Uh, nice, uh, you know, see-through case. Uh, very nice design. Uh, you know, nice graphics and whatnot. So let's actually open it up and take a closer look. Okay, so I guess we're ready to open up the box of the new T10 by Samsung. So we'll just take off the plastic cover. And here we go, let's take out the T10. So the T10 comes in the box. And then once we lift this plastic cover, we have the headphones, which are the 370s, which are very nice quality headphones. Set that aside. It also comes with the USB cable. Comes with earphone covers. The user manual. And a CD. To install all the software associated with the T10. Alright. So that's what comes in the box. <clears throat> Okay, when it first starts, usually it ends up here at the MP3 function, and here you have a touchpad, and it lights up, it's backlit. So let's actually take a look at the different functions that it has. It has a file browser, Bluetooth, settings, you can go to music, play videos, look at pictures, it's got an FM radio. Datacast, aka Podcasts, it has a Prime Pack specifically for Samsung products and File Browser, and there we are, back to Bluetooth. So let's actually, oh, in settings, let's go ahead and pop into music. So at this screen, as you can see, you've got now playing, artist, album, songs, genre, playlist, recorded files, music browser. So let's hit the center button, go into now playing. So at this screen, uh, you can uh, see that we're playing an MP3 player. We're playing an MP3 song. And uh, we can also change this a bit. Then we can go to the next song just by uh, clicking on the right arrow on the touchpad, and we can also click back, go to the different songs. We can also control the volume by the up and down on of the arrows on the touchpad. Let's see, and also if we hit the top right button, we can uh, change to different sound effects. So we can do street clarity. If it's a noisy street, you're walking along, there's uh, lots of cars going by. So you can flip that on. You can also change the clarity. If you like very crisp music, you can change that as you're listening. You can also go back. We have the DNSC, which are the different sound fields. <clears throat> so we have, you know, a load of different ones. So we can change to user, and we can actually change that. By just going over, we can change the EQ. We can uh, change those however you like, just by hitting the arrow over, and you can change the different EQs. You can also change the 3D and the base. And uh, 3D and here you go, you can change the base level. Let's go on back. You can also change the different play modes. Normal, repeat, repeat one, or shuffle. You can also view lyrics when you are uh, listening to your music. 
So you can download the lyrics and you can sing along. The music play screen, you can change that to a couple of different types. Whatever you like. I actually prefer type one, but you can do album info, album art. So my preference is this one. You can also adjust the play speed, which is actually kind of interesting. So you can increase the speed or actually decrease the speed. And there's also a skip interval. So you can uh, skip by song, skip five seconds, 10, 30, one minute. Okay, so that does it for uh, that feature of the T10. All right, so we're looking at the T10. Uh, let's take a look at the viewer here. Let's move on over to video. So let's take a look. So we can actually view videos on this. It's actually quite interesting. So here we go. We just rotate it. And uh, we can actually watch video. But the controls are actually a little bit different here. You actually control the volume up and down and then you can fast forward and then play by hitting the center button granted this isn't 16 by 9 but it does give great brightness and it's actually really clear I'm very impressed so you can also hit hit this uh, button up here, and you can control brightness. You can also control the DNSE. So you have three different modes: normal, drama, or action. And with Bluetooth, you can also connect a wireless headset. So let's flip it back around. So that is the video function of the T10.